Welcome back to Projects on Board. It's Warren here, and today we are kicking off doing exactly what we said we were going to do at the end of last episode. So I'm going to swing out here. Hopefully this truck is still in good condition. It's been a long time since I checked it. Didn't even check my back either. Could have been bum rushed very quickly, but we're good. Hood might need repairing, but everything else seems to be in good shape. So yeah, a couple of... Uh, wow, going back quite a few episodes now. We uh, swung by a town just up and to the left of Riverside. That's where we're going to be headed today. So most people spotted something I didn't even bat an eyelid to, which was one tasty, tasty sledgehammer. Just in the middle of a middle of a little, uh, what do you call it? Random event, I guess. In the middle of a little random event. And yeah, I completely missed it. So that is job number one. Job number two is tracking down as many nails as I can get my hands on so we can finally, finally wrap up that garage. I mean, no chance we're getting it done today, but it'll be a nice start. And it would also give us a bit of bit of a helping hand when we finally have to leave Riverside and head to a new town, build up a new base. We don't want to be nailless. So yeah, let's head outside, get on the road and yeah hightail over to a new town so not not gonna be staying there for longer than a day i doubt maybe two days at best but yeah could be a could be a fun trip definitely be a trip worthwhile for sure let's get out of here here we go all right so i think i think old sledgy was in the main road looks like a nice little van we could take home i think sledgy was in the main road I think that's job number one. Yeah, I, I didn't even spot it. As every single commenter other than me managed to spot it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Two of them. Christ. We're being fine dined out here, ladies and gents. Box of nails too, just to top it off. Metal bar. Nothing we oh, that wood glue. Never say no to wood glue. Sport for choice. Take the red one. The classic. Oh yeah, I still got the katanas in there as well. Completely forgot about that, but could get us out of a sticky situation if need be. I think I might just leave the truck here. No, you know what? Let's let's get close to the garage, workshop, whatever you want to call it. Come on. So it gives me a bit of an edge if it's over near a building, if that makes sense. Come on fellas. I thought I could have something behind me. Beautiful. Alright, we're off to a good start. So nice having good weapon skill. One down. And another. Last but not least. See you, son. Oh, propane torch as well. Off to a very nice start. Couple brand new tyres. Heavy duty as well. Absolutely coming handy. That's the one building we're not here for at all, but already just been an absolute wonder. Let's get this set up. It does not look like a nice group of Zeds out there, does it? I feel like this door is smaller than that door. One, two, three. One, two, three. Huh. Maybe not. Definitely looks smaller, feels smaller, all of the above. <laughs> Strange. Come on, lads. Let's get this over with. So yeah, we are here for two buildings. There's a lock and store 
just um, as we're facing to our right. And then a huge factory again as we're facing to our left. Hopefully that factory is filled with crates. Can't actually remember what it looks like on the inside, but nails central is the plan. I need as many nails as I can get my hands on because as you all know by now, I have a real taste for building. As soon as I get started, I just go overboard and things get out of hand. Building projects get way too big and we run out of supplies incredibly quickly. So yeah, we kind of need a wood axe whilst we're down there too. Another thing that has just been torn to shreds in a matter of days, really. <laughs> so you wouldn't think coming from coming from Rosewood with nothing but a wall built and only real need for like a fire axe that we'd end up just shredding through everything, every last building supply we had in about a month. Yeah, we've done well, we've done very well. We still don't have a second generator, so that gas station is currently off limits, which is something that does need to be solved. But again, that's gonna require a wall. So more nails, more logs, more wood axe. And then when we eventually leave this place, we're gonna need, gonna need enough supplies to start a fresh base which again means more nails, more wood axe. <laughs> the list goes on, basically. That's ah, not, not easy being a builder in this game, but it is fun. Get off that shot, my dear. Come keep me company. See ya. Hey, nice. We have an inn. Kinda hoping I kept my hammer and saw. Good start already. Oh, six metal sheets. That is unreal. Oh, we're not going to be taking those today. Not by any means. The sandbags we could use though. All right, I'm going to make this crate my home. Whichever one that is. It's that corner crate. Everything that I'm going to take is going to go straight in there. Which means all of those can come straight out. crowbar would be nice to be fair just add it to a crate a mile away yeah <laughs> fair enough I'll take it just want to get into those ones in the corner there's items on the surface ah right got you does make sense just being a peanut take the nails oh, a couple bags of plaster they're going to be very handy. Is that the right one? No. Next one. I'm going to be doing this all day, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, I don't care that much. As long as they're in that corner, it would be alright. And the duct tape. Finishing touch. I haven't even made it inside yet, already getting overwhelmed. Another propane torch and a tank. Very empty tank, but she'll do. Same again. Another propane tank. Brand new as well. Very nice. Okay, this is going to be a very productive day. It's going to be a very nice looting session. I'm very ready for it. So I think it might be worth bringing the, bringing the van over here and just filling her up. Tell you what though. Oh, I'll take it. Uh, not finding a ton of nails. Three boxes. Pickaxe, very nice. Really should have bought a backup bag. And a backup pair of eyes. Oh, I did just get a key though. Brilliant. All right, are you repairable or have you been repaired? You're done. Oh, where's that key? Machete no more. Can't believe how many we've got. This has been like, this has been ideal, really. Found three katanas. Stupid amount of machetes, just in time 
to grind out the machete skill. Ah, long blade skill ready for the katanas. Which is just wonderful. Absolute dream. There we go. Speak of the devil. She shall appear. Oh, I should be able to ignore those for now. Well, sort of loop around and pick them off from the back anyway. Just go for some wild runs. It's annoying it's so dark down here really. I'd like to bring the generator down, but it's just a bit too risky. Yeah, I really cannot see a thing in there. Nice headphones. Ah, I wonder if we just check out this building first. This will probably give us everything we need. And it's way smaller. I remember living out of one of these just outside of uh, just outside of Louisville. Edge of Valley Station. And honestly one of my favourites. I think I was only there for maybe a week before we got killed. Good old Norris Step. Way back in the day as our first first vanilla run and still to this day is one of my favourites. Probably backed up by quite a few people too. <laughs> well worth a watch if you haven't seen it already. A little bit of self-promotion there for you. Yeah, more fellas. Uh, do I just break a window? It's safer than piling my way through the doors. Good few metalworking opportunities down here, to be fair. Spot a lot. A lot of lockers. All day. The school and community centre back home. Definitely, definitely more lockers. Ah, oh, brilliant. Ah. <laughs> How to get overwhelmed in a heartbeat. Alright, that looks clear. Yup. Just close that door. That's also clear. Toilet's probably clear. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Yeah. We good. We are looking damn fine. Maybe not. There's a back door. It's always a back door. Alright, let's just go full sprint. Drag them all out. Big swing to the face. Surely not. It's got to be a bread knife. Yeah. Bread knife or machete. One point to you. Zero points to me. Another sandbag. I want to build some sandbag walls. Nice axe. Not quite the wood axe we're after. But I'll take it. Gravel bag. That'll work. That'll work. Oh, I did just see a garden fork as well. But yeah, I want to build a uh, build a nice sandbag wall. I think they look just incredible. It's, it's a nice little touch to the defence of a base. Don't think it really does anything. They just kind of clamber over it. But it looks cool. And style over function all day. Any more boxes of nails? Hello there. Right, I think what I might do is just basically tear all of this down. Get one crate, figure out what we need, empty our bag into a separate crate, and then, yeah, kind of just go from there. So, yeah, let's grab you set you up right here ah you know what let's take like four we're gonna need at least four <laughs> amount of stuff that's in there it's gonna be gonna be a no-brainer i should have just used this whole pile but it's fun ah, this is gonna be a cooler pile there we go we're back to pretty much our little base at the bottom of the r riverside yeah, looking good. 
All right, what I want to do is just stockpile absolutely everything, and we can bring the van over, load it all up, and hightail out of here without really batting an eyelid. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Ah, I think I want one crate that's empty just for me. Transfer all. As soon as we've got our hammer and saw, so we need to disassemble, right? Yeah. Ah, in our hand. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Alright, another machete. Good start. I'm going to get this place looted. I might do like a half time lapse, half skip thing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. That is a very, very sad noise. Don't know if you can hear that floating over our heads, but that is the sound a helicopter makes that wants to ruin your day. But from our little morning loot and sesh, did all right. Not bad going, a lot of axes, a lot of nails, a lot of everything we need, basically. So I'm just gonna try and gear up what we can before we need to get out of here. You know, bide our time a bit. I think we'll be all right, to be fair. So it should just breeze straight past us as long as we don't go outside. Hopefully. That's the air. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the part of me that's praying that that is how it works. Yeah, the hand axes and actual axes are wonderful down there. Finding tons of them. So I mean, metalwork, we're basically set for life. Gonna need to do a few trips back and clear out all of those metal sheets. But yeah, as a whole, not too bad. Spears are going to be coming back to action. Whole lot of garden forks down here, which again, just a dream. Still cutting on the nails too. Christ. Yeah, my only th only fear is that this helicopter is going to leave this place overrun. That's going to be a mission trying to get in and out. I guess we've got a car for that. Lord them all away. Or, I mean, there's enough gear down there. I fought for a lot worse. A lot less, should I say. What are we stuck on? Alright, you know what? That'll do me. That'll do me. Just grab what we can. Leave what we don't really need. Nice. Filled to the brim. Take all of you back. Grab maybe a couple of nails. That do. Wood axe. And at least one garden fork. Be rude not to, really would. Such a wonderful weapon. I also need some food as well, otherwise we're gonna start struggling very soon. And water. I'm sure there's a sink. There is a sink. A risky sink. Fill all. Nice. Yeah, this this side is just way more manageable than the other. It really is. Too much going on in the other building. I mean, worth looting by all means, but I think I'm gonna need some power over there before cracking on properly. It's just way too dark. Can't really see what I'm doing. Even with a torch, it's just not very nice. Just straining my eyes constantly. Not really ideal for you guys either. Ah, oh, foggy as well, just to top it off. All right, let's get out of here. I think what I might do, yeah, we're gonna get, gonna get screwed otherwise. I think I might just head right out of here, straight down the main road. Just hightail it out. Can we get one big stab? We can. Oh, she's back, baby. Level 5, it's our highest performing weapon. That's pretty mad. Ah, oh, now we've got to play the game. I'm starting the damn thing. Ah, oh, wrong side again. And it's occupied, just to top it off. Alright, don't let me down. Beautiful. Picture for 
very good reason. Got to dodge those cones. Can't go breaking those off. Ah, brilliant. Went all that way to find two lamps just to have them in the passenger seat. Classic. It's going to be a struggle getting home. Christ. Struggle enough trying to leave. We might have to do a big loop. Come back in the bottom end. See ya. Tell you what, it's a good thing we've done a bit of work down that end, really. Otherwise we would be absolutely screwed. But yeah, I'm going to keep driving for a bit and just kind of see how we go, really. Hopefully we end up somewhere safe. Hopefully, we can make it back to Riverside. That'd be ideal. That could come home with me. If we can, if we can sort that out nicely. Oh, what's it going to be? Red knife or machete? Car keys for both too. We might should be able to shift them. Be nice. Oh, I mean, we're definitely not moving this. <laughs> Things battered. Yeah, no way. This will probably be battered as well, to be fair. But we can repair that. That's fine. Yeah, I feel like the covered ones are probably better. Do you know what I mean? I feel like there's less chance of things falling out of them. And I've lost a few too many things. A few too many things to want to worry about an open trailer. So I'd much rather have a closed one if I can. One of you... I'm sure I got a gas can as well, didn't I? Yeah. I had a feeling I did. Just got a little bit confused. Alright, let's clip her on and then figure out where we are. I've been driving for miles. I don't recognise these parts at all. And I'm honestly starting to get a little bit worried that we're lost. Which would not be fun. Not be ideal at all. But I guess we're going to find out. Hopefully we can just keep heading this way. Just a little bit worried we might end up in West Point, which is not really something I want to do. So I want to avoid that place like the plague for the longest time possible. Because yeah, not not an ideal area to venture to. Could potentially stay down here though. Nah, there's no mailbox. No mailbox, which potentially means no house. Yeah, I'm very, very out of my depth down there. It's very rare that I come the back roads down this way. I tend to just... Stick to the main ones, stick to the main routes I know, from Moldra to West Point to Riverside. I only know the northern part. The northern part I know at the back of my hand. I spent way too long at Rosewood, pre-starting YouTube. Like, I think the first 500 hours of me playing this game were strictly in Rosewood. So that whole northern area and a tiny touch of March Ridge down to Moldra is like just second nature like that's just straight ingrained core memories in there that I'll never forget but this part not a clue nice little touch here though Could get a good bit of shotgun ammo tell you what these will absolutely always and forever be my favourite scenes I might even make this the thumbnail yeah, there we go. Something like that should work. <laughs> Get out of there, fellas. Has anyone got a key? You do. Very nice. Take some leather gloves as a backup. Very tempted to take that helmet then, but I feel like this fedora is just iconic at this point. Couple extra handgun rounds, contains a magazine. Very nice. You can keep the handgun, but the rest is wonderful. You didn't die in vain, my friends. Oh, and another. Keep that, take the rest. Leave that nightstick behind too, we've got plenty. Uh, or is it worth taking? Yeah, screw it. No shells. Five shells. Unload. Take you. Equip you. Leave you. There we go. 
Doing the full nine yards down here. Right, let's get ourselves in. Eh, not a lot. Not a lot. Still love them. Never get over them. So I think vehicle scenes, crash sites and roadblocks and things like that are the best addition to the game by far. They just just add life to the world and I will never get over it. It's just wonderful. Alright, I'm, I'm going to keep driving, figure out where I am. It's been a long day. And a firefighter scene. So we've got another axe on the horizon. Wonder who went down first. Poor fellas. Another car key in there too. Oh, there is indeed. Man, you're getting way too lucky out here. It's going well. Honestly, I haven't had a day like this in a long time. It's nice. It's really even with the helicopter, it's turned around perfectly. Both of those in there, dump the axe. Dump the wood axe. Let's get ourselves home. Hopefully. So I think I think I might have to stop off somewhere on the way, but we'll see how we go. Let's we'll see how we do. Shouldn't be too far out really. It's literally like a right turn away from Where am I? Ah yeah, I think this is the back of Riverside. Should be a school just up on this corner. Nice survivor's house. Definitely make a mental note of that. Uh, we haven't come to West Point, have we? feel like this could be a dead end. And then a right turn down to... Ooh, nice car. Unless this is West Point. Have I come too far? Yes, yeah, it's starting to look more and more like West Point. There's a church just here, we're in West Point. No, we're in Riverside. Yeah, yeah, we're home. Perfect. I've never been more confused in my life. I literally haven't seen half this town. Christ. Uh, vitamins. Coming in clutch today. Do you want they're going to be the absolute saviour today? Get out of here. Come on, fellas. There we go. Christ. It's not expecting you to take that many. What are you guys up to? Take care of the ones smashing down the wall first. We've only been gone five minutes. Guess maybe the helicopter pulled some of them. Pulled a lot. <laughs> Come on, lads. Leave the wall alone. Oh, I love the spear. It's been so long. I wish you guys knew how much I've missed this. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, we're going to be busy. Maybe we should have stayed out. Vitamins, where are you? Maybe we should have stayed out. Alright, the wall is of most importance to me. Do not want to be rebuilding. There's quite a few on the inside as well, by the sounds of it. Ah, you. Tell you what, I'm glad I locked these doors up before we left. One eye open tonight for sure. Get on, fella. Get out of here. Any more?
more for any more. Any more that we have to deal with urgently, probably. Come on. Come on. I think we're good. I think we're good. As long as inside is fine. That's what matters. As long as we can sleep tonight. Sorry, fella. Okay, all good. Yeah, we do just keep that locked. At least that way we know if anyone goes in there. Sweet. All right, well, on that note, I think I'm going to love you and leave you just there. What a day. What a very, very productive, just resource-filled day. It's been wonderful. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. So thanks for watching. Massive thanks for member supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.